ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತೆಯೇ ನಮಃ ಗುಕಾರಸ್ವಂಧಕಾರೋಯಿರುಕಾರಸ್ತನ್ನಿವರ್ತಕ ಅಂಧಕಾರ ನಿರೋಧಿತ್ವಾದ್ಗುರುರಿತ್ಯಭಿಧೀಯದೆ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಭದ್ರಂಗರ್ಣೇ ಬಿಶ್ರಣಿಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯೇ ಮಾಕ್ಷವಿರ್ಯಜತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿರೈರಂಗೈ ಸ್ತುಷ್ಟುವಾಗುಂಸಸ್ತನೂಭಿ ವಿಷೇಮ ದೇವಹಿ ತಂಜದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವಾ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಸ್ತಾರ್ಕ್ಷ್ಯೋ ಅರಿಷ್ಟನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ದಾತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಂಶು ಪ್ರತಾನೈ ಸ್ಥಿರಚರ ನಿಕರವ್ಯಾಪಿಭಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ಯ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಭುಕ್ತ ಭೋಗಾನ್ ಸ್ತವಿಷ್ಠಾನ್ ಪುನರಪಿ ದಿಶನೋದ್ಭಾಸಿತಾನ್ ಕಾಮಜನ್ಯಾನ್ ಪೀತ್ವಾ ಸರ್ವಾನ್ ವಿಶೇಷಾನ್ ಸುಪಿತಿ ಮಧುರಭುಂ ಮಾಯ ಭೋಜಯನ್ನ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ತುರೀಯಂ ಪರಂ ಅಮೃತಮಜಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಎತ್ತನ್ನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಭಿರನಂತೈಸ್ತು ಭಾವೈರೇತೈರ್ವಿಕಲ್ಪಿ ಮಾಯಾಷಾತ ಪ್ರಾಣೈತಿ ಪ್ರಾಣವಿದ ಭೂತಾನೀತಿ ತದ್ವಿದ ಗುಣೈತಿ ಗುಣವಿದ ತತ್ವಾನೀತಿ ತದ್ವಿದ ಮಮ ಮಾಯಾ ದುರತ್ಯಯ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಫೋರ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಪಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ರೋಪ್ on which the snake danda all these are appearing if you say there is only one atma how is it that it is seen as this huge unlimited infinite inexplicable jagat all these galaxies huge huge thing in my way can i see like so many complexities how is it seen <laughs> and for whom is this happening who is nishchitayam yatha rajyam vikalpo vinivartate rajju rajju reveti cha advaitam tadvat atma vinishchaya was said yadi atma ekaha eva iti nishchaya ಕಥಂ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಅನಂತೈ ಭಾವೈ ಎತೈ ಸಂಸಾರಲಕ್ಷಣೈ ವಿಕಲ್ಪಿ ಕಥಂ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಉಚ್ಯತೆ ಶೃಣು ಮಾಯಾ ಆತ್ಮನಃ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ಆತ್ಮನಃ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ಮಾಯಾ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ್ಯೋತನಾತ್ಮಕ ಆತ್ಮನಃ in the form of conscious being this atma vastu its swarupa being the consciousness itself it is spinning this jagat maya tasya atmanah maya just like in the case of dream the whole dream world is spun in the awareness similarly this whole jagat is non separate is not away from 
the awareness, the consciousness. My Swarupa. In every cognition, my Swarupa is there. In every object cognized, my Swarupa is there. Therefore, the Atma only is there everywhere. When you see the sky, the perception of the sky is pervaded by my Swarupa Atma Vastu. When I see the mountain, there is no part of mountain which is separate or away from the Chidvastu, which is my Swarupa. Then how is the mountain seen? Mayaya Eva. It is as though seen. Because there is no substance called mountain. So when I say mountain, it reduces to something else. And that something else reduces to something else. And that something else reduces to something else. You can say it goes to anavastha, but then it doesn't because after it you reach the sadvastu. Sadvastu is your sattaspurnam, your own surupa, which is the existence there. And beyond that you can't go. It is not dependent on anything else. The chaitana, chaitanya vastu, the atma vastu, the astitvam is not dependent on anything else for its Astitva. Therefore, that is what is there. Everything else is Vacharambaram Vikaro Namadeyam. Therefore, Maya, Maya Yayeva. How it is seen? It is seen as though Maya Yesha Tasya Atmanaha Devasya. How else you can explain? There is no substance. There is no Nothing else, when you analyze it, you can see through Shruti Vakya that is, there is nothing else which is there. But then you are saying, I am seeing a Jagat. So you can only explain it as Maya. Because there is no Vastu. There is no real change. Therefore, Maya Yesha Tasya Atmanaha Devasya. So it is not only Yuktya that you are getting at it. But even Shruti Vakyas are there, Smriti Vakyas are there. This Maya is not heavily used in Shruti. That's why if you see here, Bhashyagara actually picks up a Smriti because that word Maya is there. This uh, Indraha Pururupa Iyate, all that is there, is going to quote later also again. <laughs> but directly this word Maya is used in Gita, so he, he is quoting that. Yata maya vina vihita maya. Gagalam gaganam ati vimalam kusumitaihi sapalasaihi tarubihi akirnamiva karoti tata yamapi devasya maya yaya yam swayamapi mohitaha iva mohito bhavati. In a clear sky where there is no tree or no, not even a spot of Dust can be there, even there, in a very, very clear sky, a huge tree is shown by a Mayavi. Now, there is no tree or anything, and the sky is pure. Like this Atma, which does not have anything, it is only Chinmatram. But on that, this whole Kusumitaihi, Sapalashaihi, Tarubihi, Akirnamiva. So there are so many cause effect, there is so many objects, there are so many experiences which are spun as though spun on the crystal clear Atma Vastu. There is nothing other than Atma Vastu. Like here, there is nothing other than Akasha. That's why Bhashyagara Gaganam Ati Vimalam uses in the Drishtanta. Because Atma also Ati Vimalam. Ati Vimala only. There is no Mala. There is no Ajnana Lesha itself is not possible in Atma Vastu because it is Sada Sarvada Soprakasha. Prakasha Vastu. Chaitanyam itself. It cannot have ignorance. All ignorance are lighted up by it. But then what is being lighted up also doesn't have an existence, honestly speaking. Like this tree in the sky. It is so huge. Why? Because it is in the sky which is very huge. That's how it appears. But then there is 
no tree there is only sky therefore ati vimalam gaganam maya ga vimalam gaganam kusumitaihi sapalashaihi tarubihi aakirnam iva karoti that iva is what is very important that iva is the cause of moksha moksha is possible because of the iva which is the biggest grace that iva as though there is tree as though there is flower so as though there is jagat as though there is jiva as though there is ishwara as though there is samsara as though there is sukha as though there is dukha everything is as though as though as though and once you understand this as though that is the moksha because there is only as though tata iyam api devasya maya yaya ayam swayam api mohitah iva mohito bhavati mohitah iva mohito bhavati it's not even mohito bhavati that is where even i was hearing on vishishta advaitis talk and he was saying <clears throat> atma mohitah swayam eva bhavati he takes that and then says how can it happen all that but it doesn't say swayam eva bhavati mohito bhavati it is mohitah eva mohito bhavati swayam api mohitah eva it is as though mohitah only atma doesn't become mohitah to have moha atma first has to have emotion a delusion means it needs to have a vritti we are talking about the content of the vritti which is the swarupa therefore it cannot have moha the atma cannot have any of these things it is beyond all those changes there is no vrittitvam in atma astu mama maya duratyaya if you want to go and count the fruits on the kusumitaihi sapalashaihi tarubihi tarubihi it's not even taruna there are many trees okay it's like a forest dense forest that is shown by the mayavi kusumitaihi sapalashaihi tarubihi aakirnam iva karoti like a dense jungle is projected on a clear sky like that only this whole maya is projected everything is atma vastu sad vastu but it is seen as a huge universe experience therefore mama maya duratyaya you can't just go and start counting those leaves in the maya trees for us because it will keep on going maya no it doesn't end <laughs> so now karika kara gaudabadacharya is going to take some of those leaves and fruits and flowers which are there in that kusimitaihi tarubihi okay in all those so once you think it is those trees it's not the sky you can keep looking at it in any way no this is a tea coat this timber is 20 years old this leaf is art in shaped this leaf is thicker you can and then say this this so you can look at that like that blind man looking at an elephant someone says it's like a pillar someone says it's like a you know snake someone says it's like a fan someone says it's like a wall like that everybody once you see it as nan atma you can come up with your own theories that is what all these religions and theologies and so called philosophies are because they are looking at the world like this atma like this you are searching for atma outside what is the cause of the jagat you keep looking here and there the looker is where the whole thing is hidden chidambara rahasyam chidambara is everywhere but 
it is not to be seen. That's why this Rahasya. The sky of consciousness, the stage of consciousness, Chitsabha. Everything, all that is here is a stage, like Shakespeare said, right? That stage of consciousness is where everything is dancing. The Jagat is dancing on this consciousness. It is actually the consciousness which is dancing as the Jagat. Sapalasaihi, Kusumitaihi, Tarubihi, Iva. Like that, everything is a dance. But it's not seen. Because you are searching this way. But the searcher is the one on which the truth is. So it is the content of the searcher. That vritti, what is the vritti rooted on? Therefore, once you miss that, then you can look at 110 theories. It doesn't matter. Each one will come up with his or her own concept of what is reality. That is what is going to cover a few of them, which Bhashikara says, Palgu I don't want to give explanation of each person's imagination. But we will see simply what are these prana iti, prana vidaha, bhutani iti, chatad vidaha, gunaha iti, guna vidaha, tattvani iti, chatad vidaha, prana iti, prana vidaha. Some people think it is prana. In fact, Bhashikara says this is the root. This is the pragnapti, this pragnaha. <coughs> Vishwa Taijasa Pragnaha. This Pragna, which is Prana, is Pragnatma. The Hiranyagarbha. So look at Tika. There is a Tika on the Greek Tika here. So Kete Prana Deha Ananta Ana Prana Deha Ananta Baba spelled wrong there. Yehi Atma Vikalpyate Mayaya Iti Apekshayam Prana Di Vikalpana. Vikalpanam Udaharati. He gives some examples. What are those prana, bhutani? So he all these gunaha, tattvani, like that. So what is the atma? What is the cause of this whole world? Someone says prana is the cause. What is prana? Hiranyagarbha. This is the theology of most like Visishta Dvaiti, Dvaiti, Iskan, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all these people, right, who say it is the God is a pers personified Godhead. Okay. Like this Visishta Dvaiti says, right, the God is all pervasive, all right, but it's a personified God who is in the form of energy and capability and Shakti. That is Hiranyagarbha. Pranaha. Hiranyagarbha. Tatastha Ishwara. Who is the Ishwara? Who is an active Ishwara? Okay. It is not Chinmatra Vastu and Maya Jagat. See, that's a minor difference. Okay. See, we all, this is where we get lost typically. What is the difference between a Vizishta Dvaiti, Dvaiti, and Advaiti, for example? For both of us say this Apara Ishwara, <clears throat> Apara Brahma, which is Saguna Ishwara, all three kind of accept that. Okay. But it is not Paravastu. The Paravastu is the content of that Ishwara Hiranyagarbha also. There also the Shakti Matvam and all this changes are Mithya because there is nothing like change. There is no Reality called change, it is what is the reality is the content of the change, which is the vastu. Suppose I say dream is an is a thing, is a you know, you want to analyze the dream. What is dream? It is a variation in my buddhi. So, what is the satyam there? Is it is the dream the satyam or the buddhi? So, buddhi is satyam, dream is a vritti. Right, the chit, the um, chittam is where the whole dream is happening. 
now the vrittitvam the change which is happening in chitta is the dream so the change itself is there is no nothing called change it is only incidental so what is the content chitta is the truth that is what we say so when we say hiranyagarbha and all that there also the change like in a ocean has waves wave is a change in water is there something called change is there wave is has it does it is it an entity no water alone is the entity like that hiranyagarbha the hiranyagarbhatvam is superimposed on the chaitanya vastu that is the difference so they say the vishishta advaitis and even dvaiti in a sense they all talk about all they have to accept omnipresence because bhagavan and shruti says everywhere there is omnipresence right <clears throat> sarva bhuta shay sthitah kshetra gnam chaapi maam vidhi sarva kshetreshu bharata all these vakyas are there so sarvatmatvam is in a way accepted by all these indian even theology theologists theologians they accept that omnipresence because otherwise even this hiranya kashipu prahlada all that uh, samvada and all you can't interpret bhagavan is everywhere has to be accepted by all sampradayas but how is this everywhere presence is where there is a difference in paramarthika satyatvam they don't accept that the there is a paramartha content which is nirgunam niravayavam nirvisesham because they can't accept niravayava nirguna nirvisesha vastu therefore they say there is no shiva the in pauranika terms they say we don't accept shiva there is we won't go to shiva temple all that okay the, that is because this nirguna niravayava satta vastu sadvastu is not is not accepted by them because for them hiranyagarbha is ishvara that is where i was going with it this is prana vidaha this is being dismissed by gouda badacharya that bhagavan can't be hiranya the vastu can't be hiranyagarbha here the ultimate they say ultimate is hiranyagarbha that is the difference there is nothing beyond hiranyagarbha hiranyagarbha is the creator is the sustainer is the resolver and that is what is ishvara there is no brahman and all is what they say okay pranu but where is hiranyagarbha in deep sleep in pralaya even nirvikalpa samadhi suppose someone goes hiranyagarbha does it exist because hiranyagarbha means that the vittitvam has to be there if the vittitvam is swarupa only then you can say hiranyagarbha swarupam it's the para para swarupam but for now hiranyagarbha himself being a vritti then the swarupa is the content of hiranyagarbha which is prajnapti matram but they say prano prana hiranyagarbha tatastha ishwara vasah jagatah hetu it is the hiranyagarbha so that means it's a real jagat which is created this hiranyagarbha in the form of a conscious person actually creates is what they say prana vidaha hiranyagarbha dyaha they are called hiranyagarbha the one who believe hiranyagarbha is a god so that god is not different from the mahavishnu that uh, vishta dvaiti speak about or even sri krishna that uh, dvaiti sir speaking about they also in a sense they agree to this all pervasive they say they look at it as two two kinds of entities right there is one where this all pervasive by krishna is there and then individual jeevas are also there and they both exist at the same time in same so in myself there is a krishna who is looking at me and then me as an individual who is also there then only this this kshetragnya uh, and all this can be understood in their dvaita context and jiva jiva remains a jiva forever can't become ishvara see anyway if it is a separate entity it can't become another okay that we also don't accept 
so there is no becoming another jiva uh, becoming ishvara and all is not possible and then it goes to some swargadi and only if you believe in the madhva philosophy you go to higher swarga all that then all those things come into play like even vishishta advaita is say right that if you follow vishishta advaita and you know if you have that kind then they, you will be specially taken in some special mode somebody will come and invite you all the way there will be like people who will you know who will come and prostrate to you and you will go through the archiradi marga to vaikuntha as a special person all this privilege you are a privileged business class passenger <clears throat> so anyway so that is all that you have to then talk about all those things because you have made bhagavan as a person and there is a bias towards people who have accepted that person as the god then you get special treatment <clears throat> but these are all based on this hiranyagarbha vada only okay a true creation by a conscious entity so whether the only difference is in uh, western all this uh, abrahamic theologies they look upon god sitting outside of this created jagat somewhere and that somewhere also has to be a created place only if you say somewhere but anyway so they say that that god is away somewhere in heaven this place has been created and dropped here you are just living here but you have to look at the other world where the god is sitting and then believe that you will go there sometime you are now away from the god so that is one abrahamic theology but the, our indian theologies they don't say this is outside they say here god is also there like in the case of dvaita and all and then you are also there god is also there everywhere in your conscience and all that so that is there vada hiranyagarbhadyaha vaiseshikadayaha cha kalpayanti vaiseshikas also do this kind of a kalpana because there is a kalpana only no there is a pramana for all this tadidam kalpana matram is a kalpana you have to assume whether you say the god is in heaven or here everywhere you how there is no way to know that shruti pramana also is not there clearly they have to twist the shruti to somehow say this even your yuktya also by logic also you cannot there is no way to establish that okay vaidityatvam advaita all this thing yuktya also you can establish to a reasonable extent okay but finally you have to rely on shruti pramana <clears throat> to cement this knowledge because it's a vision and it is evident to see that vision get that vision in the case of advaita whereas in the all the other case it's a kalpana matram swapna tantrasya hiranyagarbhasya sarva jagat hetutve mana bhava there is no pramana the swapna tantra hiranyagarbha is a extrapolation of your state of dream paurusheya agamasya apaurusheya shruti virodhe swarthe manatva yogat tatastha ishvara vadasya cha pramana yukti vihinasya pratipatti pratipattum ashakyatvat so there is no how do you prove how do you establish there is no pramana apurusha shruti doesn't doesn't talk about it this way so you don't have mana is what he is saying but more importantly it is all in the this cognition yate drishyam drishyatvat anrutam so there is no whatever is objectified whatever is objectified depends on the objectifier even this vritti atmaka this hiranyagarbha chesta is dependent on what the chit because where does it get its existence see that is that one um one logic right 
open yukti it can be applied to all the other things which is going to come because all he is going to talk about is from a discognition perspective when you say bhutani next one for example let's take the next one kalpanantaram darshayati bhutani ti prithivi aptejo vayavah tatvani tani cha chatvari bhutani jagat karanani iti lokayatikah the lokayatikas say that prithivi aptejo vayu they don't take akasha as a bhuta these four bhutas elementals the earth water uh, uh, fire and air these are the karanas they take now we will see this itself will be addressed now by the tika gara why it is can't be but my point is this is also part of this cognition only when you say prithvi earth the earth to say that is earth there needs to be a conscious conscious vritti of the earthness without that where is earth there is no earth now that vritti the prithvi is dependent on that vritti and the vritti is dependent on a chetana vastu and chetana vastu is there is nothing but sad vastu chin matram it's the same case you can apply this to guna you can apply this to tatvani you can apply this to any of those which is going to come that's why bashikara says further going and dwelling and then saying prithvi can't be is useless because prithvi doesn't explain how the chetana vastu is there but prithvi is not there without chetana vastu pervading it simple so one there is an invariable presence of satta in everything therefore all this prithvi see if you take it as prithvi then how do you explain guna if you take it as guna how do you explain prana if you take it as prana how do you so they are mutually contradictory also so all these don't have any strong strong uh, you know basis therefore bashigara says palgu prayojana you know use of further going and hair splitting and then saying no 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 it cannot be prithvi it can't be any of these things this is what he sweepingly dismisses so prithvi aptejo and he, this tikakara gives some more for dismissing loka etikahas within their own theory that he goes and disputes which is okay which can be done tadapi kalpana matram nahi bhutani swatas siddhani the bhutas are not swatas siddha yeah prithvi cannot establish itself the prithvi can be established only when the perception of prithvi has happened only a chetana vastu has to have the prithvi experience prithvi one prithvi cannot have another prithvi experience and prithvi cannot reveal itself it has to be revealed to a chetana vastu whereas chetana vastu doesn't need to reveal itself it is swatas siddham so prakasham it is not prakasham to something else but bhutani all bhutas are evident to atma and atma is self evident nahi bhutani swatas siddhani jadatva virodha every jada vastu is paratas siddham na swatas siddham paratantra only it's not swatantra it doesn't exist on its own it needs it it doesn't it has to be lent existence by the chinmatra satta matram naapi paratas siddhani swagunasya chaitanasya chaitanyasya swagrahakatva ayogat vannikata aushnyasya suppose you say bhutas are themselves chetana then how chetana bhuta can see the chetana bhuta, another bhuta bhuta means it is it has guna and it has to be evidenced so therefore he says like agni cannot heat its own one agni cannot burn its own self therefore chaitanya cannot know another chaitanya <coughs> sugrahakatva yoga ataha bhutani jagat katrini tite kalpana eva ityartha therefore bhutas can't be the creator bhutas are jada right 
how can it do an intelligent creation like an ear how the ear functions how does the sound which is made outside get recognized in this brain there is intelligence can a jada bhuta create all that <clears throat> like the functioning of a lung or a heart pumping blood like how it removes you know uh, impure things like your kidney all that there is so much this body see i once when we if you want to take your uh, air conditioner the split ac right and then try and take that filter out you can see how much dust and dirt accumulates in it when the air is coming in from the environment atmosphere how much dirt gets accumulated in the in the air conditioner filter so much dirt is going in right in fact we are breathing more air than what a, probably air conditioner does in a day because we use it for a few hours but you are breathing every second and how much goes in and comes out what is the filtering how does how does it get purified and then it doesn't hurt your body in a big way how there's so much intelligence each one of these have to be intelligently done no you can't say prithvi does it if it is so intelligent then you should know you should look at the prithvi and be able to say that oh this prithvi is so intelligent it is something that uh, it is doing now that i am seeing is so mind boggling that mind boggling that i can really trust that it is doing it only created the jagat can you look at prithvi and say that anyway i don't know how they came up with these kind of theories that prithvi apte jo vayu created the jagat i mean these are like jokes jagat karanani lokayatikaha if you say prithvi has intelligence and god then you are more it's like something which is indweller of the prithvi which is created then you are going back to the prana iti prana vidha only isn't it only if you have to say elemental as the jada padarthas which are creating then only this prithvi prithvi adi is the creator you can say otherwise you have to point go back, fall back on hiranyagarbha only loka etikah say this tadapi kalpana matram okay ataha okay that is done satvarajastamamsi gunaha iti guna vidaha okay that is the third satvarajastamamsi trayo gunaha samyena avasthitaha jagataha magadadi lakshanasya karanam so there is sankhyaha okay sankhya se the triguna satvarajastamo guna being in equilibrium is the karana why because they pre existed this jagat creation they were all in equilibrium balance samya in avasthita how does the balance go somebody disturbs the balance and the jagat has happened that is what they say samya in avasthita nam karanatve pralaya bhava prasangat then how does pralaya happen if samya is the pralaya then pralaya is not there there is no possibility of pralaya vaishamya vaishamya bhajanasya cha nirhetatve nirhetu gatve sada sada apatat sahetu gatve hetoho hetoho nityatve prachina dosha anushangat anityatve hetu antara pekshayam anavasthanati tyah hai okay that is a vishama there in the samya sthita is using logic to show that there is either an anavasti anavastha dosha or a repeat of the earlier dosha of it being objectified and all that therefore it can't be triguna avastha is what he is saying okay let's see if we can start doing vichara on each one of them we'll go for ever okay kalpana antaramah tatva niti and then there is a fourth one he picks up is tatva niti cha tadvidaha this three tattva shaivaha there is a shaiva siddhanta 
they have three things atma vidya shiva iti samkshepatah trini tatvani sarva jagat pravartakani iti shaivaha manyante the shaiva say there are three tatva which is atma vidya and shiva the shiva is ishvara now this this is a problem this is very similar to why vishta dvaitis they feel bad that their god is being dismissed by saying everything is atma so you can't say atma and avidya alone exist shiva also has to exist because he only created this atma and avidya no so therefore one god called Sh- shiva has to be introduced so tadapi kalpana matram atmanah bhinnatve shivasya ghataadi tulyatva prasanga prasangad abhinnatve tatvanam tritva vyaghatat ityartah ee shiva jadar chinmatra if it is chit then what is difference between atma and shiva they have to be both same if it is jada padartha okay if it is not if it is only a known entity then shiva has to depend on atma for its existence ghataadi tulyatvat okay because shiva can be revealed only to atma so without atma being there shiva it doesn't have existence so is it atma or jada has he has to come under one of those <laughs> he has to, is shiva known into this cognition or shiva known as i cognition okay so this i cognition this cognition dismisses shiva it has to be only i cognition then only it can exist otherwise shiva can't be swatantra therefore that is also not accepted pada iti pada vidaha vishaya iti cha tad vidaha loka iti loka vidaha deva iti cha tad vidaha pada iti pada vidaha ekasya atmanah vishwadaya padaah sarva vyavahara hetvah bhavanti ityapi kalpana matram niramshasya ಆತ್ಮನಃ ಅಂಶವೇದಾನ್ ಉಪಪತ್ತೇ ಅಂಶವೇದಾನ್ ಉಪಪತ್ತೇ ಇತ್ಯಾ ಪಾದ ಇತಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾದ ವಿಶ್ವತೈಜ ಸ್ವಪ್ರಾಜ್ಞ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾದ ಸರ್ ದರ್ ನೋ ವೇಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಟೀಕಾಕಾರ ಡಿಸ್ಮಿಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅಂಶ ಫಾರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ಸೇ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾದ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ okay vishaya iti tadvidaha so then it can be objects of experience or the or the jagat see i don't know this kind of you know logic in this how can you say the vishaya things objects of experience are the cause of the world it's only these experiences that's what they say the experiences created the world okay so vatsyayana prabhrutinam kalpanam kathayati so vatsyayana kama sutra that same vatsyayana only it should be because vishayaha context is there no so he predates at least uh, the tika karas times kalpanam kathayati vishayaha iti tadvidah shabdadeha vishayaha bhuyaha bhuyaha bujyamanaha manaha tattvam iti vibrama matram again and again you are experiencing some shabdadi vishaya the worldly experience the worldly experience is the cause of this whole jagat iti kalp vibrama matram it's only a delusion why he says vishayasya vishasya vishayanam cha duram atyantam antaram the visha and vishaya have big difference the the poison and the worldly experience have a difference in a, there is a huge difference between them okay is a shloka what is what is the difference upabuktam visham hanti the poison which is eaten kills you vishayaha smaranadapi the worldly pleasures right even by thinking of it it kills you because harati prasavam manaha bhagavan says no in gita once you starts thinking about vishayaha okay that vishaya like captures you the moment you start think when you you see people sometimes they just by, by smile by themselves when they smile means what there is something which is attracting them and it is already lost into it okay smarana adapi then to recover from that is is not easy it takes you away before you realize it so that's why this shloka upabuktam visham hanti vishayaha smarana adapi 
ಇದು ವಿಷಯಾನುಸಂಧಾನ ನಿಂದಿತ್ವಾತ್ ತಾಂ ಪಾರಮಾರ್ಥಿಕತ್ವಭಾವನ್ ಉಪಪತ್ತೆ ಭಾವ ಅನುಪತ್ತೆ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಎನಿ ಕೇಸ್ ವಿಷಯ ಕಾಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ವೈ ಶುಡ್ ವಿಷಯ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜಗತ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಭೂರ್ಭುವ ಸ್ವ ದೆನ್ ಲೋಕಾ ಇದು ಲೋಕವಿಧ ಭೂರ್ಭುವ ಸ್ವ ಇದು ತ್ರಯ ಲೋಕ ವಸ್ತುಭೂತ ಸಂತಿ ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಭೂರ್ಲೋಕ ಭೂರ್ಲೋಕ ಸ್ವರ್ಲೋಕ ಇದು ಪೌರಾಣಿಕ ಮೆನಿ ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ವೇ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಲೋಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ತದಿ ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಾನಭೇದೇನ ತ್ರಿತ ತ್ರಿತ ಸ್ಥಾನಭೇದೇನ ತ್ರಿತ್ವೆ ತದ್ ಆನಂತ್ಯ ದುರುತ್ತರತ್ವಾತ್ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯ ಅಸಿದ್ಧತ್ವಾತ್ ಇತ್ಯಾಸಿ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ಸೇ ದ ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ವತಂತ್ರ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೋಕ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಲ್ಪಿತ ಹೂ ನೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎರ್ತ್ ಯುರ್ ಆನಸ್ ನೆಪ್ಟ್ಯೂನ್ ಪ್ಲೂಟೋ ವಾಟ್ ಅವರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದೇ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ಮಾತ್ರ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಪಲ್ಗು ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ವಿ ಫೀಲ್ ಟಯರ್ಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಸ್ ನೋ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಯ ದೇವಾ ಓಕೆ ಅದು ದೇವಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಹಾಂ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ದ್ವೈತ ಥಿಂಗ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ದೇವಾಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಂಗ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಇಂದ್ರ ವಾಯು ದೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ದೇ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ದೇವಾ ತತ್ ಫಲದಾತಾರ ನ ಈಶ್ವರ ತಥಿ ದೇವತಾಕಾಂಡೀಯ so all these people used to be there that time so they have been given name you see that devata kandiya pauranika like that okay there were people like lokayatika these are all different darshanas people with different opinion because they are looking at the world and then saying they creating their own oh maybe this guy has created oh maybe those forces created the jagat oh maybe it is the experiences that i am having which created the jagat these are all what concoction right you just think something is created there is no no pramana there is nothing okay <clears throat> it's just somebody's creation tadapi kalpana matram asmadadi prayatnam apekshya paladatritve tesham vrityabhya vishesha bhava prasangat how does devatas give you benefit because you do yagna okay so all these yagnas are done for agni pavamana soma and all that and then agni edanna mama you just give the offering now then agni has to come and give you some benefit correct like this kari rishti now people did this prayers for varsha rain in madhya pradesh now they are saying omkareshwar is flooded they have postponed that uh, statue opening by 3 days now this because the devata there he went to ishwara mahakaleshwar the chief minister went to omkareshwar and uh, i think mahakaleshwar he went and then it rained okay now here we are talking about you know kari rishti and all that the, all the varna japa devatas are giving fruits of your action now this tikakara says ಅಸ್ಮದಾದಿ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಅಪೇಕ್ಷೆಯ ಫಲದಾತೃತ್ವ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ತಾಂ ವೃದ್ಧಿಯಭ್ಯ ವೃದ್ಧಿಯಭ್ಯ ವಿಶೇಷ ಅಭಾವ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ದೇ ಟೇಕ್ ಮನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಡೂ ಸಮ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ದೀಸ್ ದೇವತಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆಹುತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ how can you say that is a god which created the jagat is what he is asking so we don't have to put down devatas but that's the logic he uses saying that they don't have a swatantra swatantriyena upakaragatve tad aaradhana vayartyat tad bhaktanam api vipatti darshana tad prasadasya akinchit karatva ditya so even bhaktas this all these god heads we create now this god that heart you know uh, and then we say that god only protects see it is paraya atma ishwara you give a name and form and then 
you worship that's a different thing but nowadays everything is god they just create no so that is why which god you have to pray also the reason why we say these kind of murtis are better for upasana is because they reflect the paramartha tattva when you say shri krishna or shiva parameshwara or mahavishnu or brahma that tatparya of hiranyagarbha or paramartha parabrahma vastu is personified in this in these murtis therefore those murtis are brahma vastu only so so it is better it goes all the way now we just take anybody some i don't want to name because there may be people who have emotional sentimental things attached to all these different things we pray these days pray to okay so but we have to think whether it is appropriate so why replace when our rishis have given murtis which are purna complete i don't know why people you know add to all this nowadays vedaha iti veda vidaha yagnaha iti cha tadvidaha bhokta iti cha bhoktri vidaha bhojyam iti cha tadvidaha vedaha rigveda dayaha vedas chatvaraha tatvani iti patakaha vadanti so veda ऋग्वेदादि निश्वसित Veda is Ishwara Swasa, is how Shastras say. So, Veda Rupena, only Bhagavan, this he, he, he pervades and is the Jnana which liberates you. That is a different thing. Here, Patakaha, just the sounds, these sounds only created the world. All this mysticism are there, no? Omkara is like Big Bang. From that sound, only the world came. all then all mystic interpretations of all the veda and all that now somebody dismisses this then then again the person dismissing also we are judging okay i was listening to one uh, the sukhi sivam he was saying vallalar one of the saints he is not sanatani because he says veda and all doesn't lead to goal something okay leave all all these things and focus on paramatma or something he has said now this person interprets saying that is not sanatani because he says veda here our grand books themselves are saying <laughs> veda it's not paramartha vastu is not veda now you can you say gouda pariga is not a sanatani gouda pada is not a sanatani because he says veda iti veda vidaha and then uh, anandagiri says kalpana matram shankaracharya says palgu prayojanatvat this means they are avaidikas they negated veda can we say that no what is the context and what is meant is what we have to understand just out of context you quote and then you say this ramalinga adigalar is not uh, sanadani because he said veda doesn't lead to moksha yeah it is aparavidya only shastra itself says all the vedas are part of aparavidya because again veda is karma kanda everything is there so everything is not paravidya so therefore veda itself dismisses itself so where is the question of uh, ramalingan are becoming not sanatani because he has said veda is not he is talking about moksha so again people don't they don't understand the context they just misrepresent they think they are all i have nothing against sukhi sima i was just listening to this particular thing 
and uh, people are motivated by different considerations and then they want to intentionally create some way to project some people as and sanatana and all that anyway i don't want to get into this sanatana debate but yeah, the context i was talking about this veda iti veda vidaha we have to understand it properly we are not dismissing the pramanyatvam of veda but is veda the creator of jagat is a question and you have to say no it's the, what is first of all we don't accept the creation itself no we are saying ishwara <laughs> hiranyagarbha itself we are saying is not the creator because there is no creation then how do you accept veda as a creation creator okay so therefore the context is veda if somebody takes veda as the tattvam which created this jagat which is dismissed here tadapi kalpana matram nahi vedaha laukika varna vyatirittaha drishyante it is laukika varna only the sounds worldly sounds the sounds created by human only no so ishwara has given it so it has some dependency again sadvastu has to be there to even lend the reality to veda okay kramavat kramavatam eva varnanam veda shabda vachyatva angikara there is a krama of varna all these sounds in the sequence the way is what is called veda kramascha ucharana upalabdhya upalabdhyoho anyataragatah varneshu aropyate tatha cha tatha vidha kramavatam varnanam ಆರೋಪಿತೂಪೇಣ ವೇದಶಬ್ದವಾಚ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ವೇದಾಂ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಫೋರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥತ್ವ ಆಫ್ ವೇದ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರವಾಹ ನಿತ್ಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ಅಗೇನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರವಸ್ತು ಯಜ್ಞ ಇದ್ವಿ then all our ari samajis and mimamsakas who say yajna only is the whole thing jyotishto madeha yajna ha vastu bhuta ha bhavanti iti bodayana pravrtaya yagnika ha manyante is yagnika ha bodayana and all this people who says yajna is the vastu tadapi bhranti matram ಯಜ್ಞ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾಸ್ಯಾಮಃ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ದೇವತಾತ್ಯಾಗ ಇಕೈಕಸ್ಮಿನ್ಯಜ್ಞವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಮುದಾಯ ಅವಸ್ತು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಯಜ್ಞ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಮೂಹ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸಮುದಾಯ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಯಜ್ಞಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಾನ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಕಾಸ್ ಕ ಸತ್ಯಂ ನೋ ಯಜ್ಞ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ಭೋಕ್ತ ಭೋಕ್ತೃವಿಧ ಭೋಜ್ಯಮ ತದ್ವಿ ಭೋಕ್ತ ಎವ ಆತ್ಮ ನ ಕರ್ತ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಬಟ್ ಎಂಜಾಯರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ ಎಂಜಾಯರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಇತಿ ಭೋಕ್ತ ತತ್ರ ಭೋಗ ಇದು ವಿಕ್ರಿಯ ಸ್ವೀಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ತರ್ಹಿ ಕಥಂ ನ ಅನಿತ್ಯತ್ವಾದಿ ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ಭೋಗ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ನೋ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದುಃಖ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಸುಖ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಭೋಗ ಯು ಆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ that itself is changing the entity itself it's a variable anitya then how can it create the remaining swabhavatve sada syat when it is the swabhava bhoga is a swabhava means it has to be always there it can't be fluctuating vishaya sannidhau bhoktrutvam so only when there is vishaya there is bhoktrutva when there is no vishaya there is no bhoga deep sleep where is bhoga you can say deep sleep bhoga but if there is no vishaya there is only entity there is no bhoga means enjoyership has to be there bhojyam iti cha tadvidaha supakaraha tu bhojyam vastu iti pratijanant janate tad tadapina supakara he talks about another set of people who says it is bhojyam bhojyam means vishaya only no anyway vishaya already spoken about here he is talking about bhojya vastu ಮಧುರಾದಿ ಸವ್ಯಂಜನಾದೇಹೇ ತದೇವ ತತ್ ತದೈವಾನ್ಯತಾತ್ವದರ್ಶನಾತ್ ಏಕೂಪಿ ಅಸಂಭವ ಏಕೂಪ್ಯ ಅಸಂಭವಾತ್ ಓಕೆ 
மதுராதி அசவ்யஞ்சன பிரசஞ்சனாதேஹே சவ்யஞ்சனம் மதுரா ஐ நீட் டு செக் வாட் திஸ் மீன்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஐ கம் பேக் ஸோ இட் கான் பி போஜ்யம் ஆல்சோ இஸ் தி தாத்பரிய எனிவே இட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு கவர் ஃபியூ மோர் அண்ட் லைக் ஐ செட் ஃபைனலி பாஷிகாரா சேஸ் ஓகே அகெய்ன் வி லெட் சி திஸ் அண்ட் க்ளோஸ் இட் டுடே பிராணஹா பிராஜ்யா பீஜாத்மா திஸ் பிராஜ்ய ஆத்மா பிராணஹா திஸ் இஸ் ஹிரண்ய கர்பா இஸ் த கார் மெயின் த ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் வி ஸ்போக் அபவுட் தத் காரிய பேதாகி இதரே ஸ்தித்தியந்தா த லாஸ்ட் ஒன் ஹீ இஸ் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் இஸ் ஸ்திதி விதஹா ஸ்திதி இதி ஓகே லைக் தட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு டாக் அனதர் சம் 20 ஆஃப் தெம் ஓர் 20 டு 25 ஆஃப் தெம் பட் ஃபைனலி இட் ஸ்டாப்ஸ் வித் தி ஸ்திதி so here tika bashigara says pranaha pragnyaha bijatma it is the pragnya bijatma from which everything comes up we saw in earlier in this um agama prakarana no from pragnya only everything else comes forth like uh, vishvataijasadaya now tat karya bedaha hi itare stiti antaha until stiti everything else is coming out of this prana anyecha sarve laukikaha sarva prani parikalpitaha bedaha prani parikalpita bedaha each person has created is our her own theory is rajwami va sarpadeha because you don't know the rajju there is salpadi kalpana like that because you don't know everything is this brahma vastu now you are doing kalpana all this whatever we spoke today So he says, Tachunye, Atmani, Atma Swarupa, Anishchaya Hetoho, Avidyaya Kalpita Iti, Pinditaha Arthaha. So, because your Atma Swarupa, Anishchaya is there, Raju Anishchaya is there, therefore, Sarpadi Vikalpa has happened. Pranadi Shlokanam Pratyekam Padartha Vyakyane Palgu Prayojanatvat. சித்த பதார்த்தத்துவாச்ச எத்தனா நக்ரதா ஆல் தீஸ் ஆர் நோன் டு யூ ஸோ ஐ எம் நாட் டூயிங் எனி எஃபர்ட் இஸ் எஸ் பட் ஜஸ்ட் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தீஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் விச் ஆர் தேர் வி ஆர் ஸ்பெண்டிங் சம் டைம் இட் இஸ் ஓகே ஓம் போர் நமத போர் நமிதம் போர் நாத் போர் நமதச்சதே போர் நசிய போர் நமாதாய போர் நமேவாவசிஷதே ஓம் சாந்தி 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 ஹரி ஓம் ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நம ஹரி ஓம்